Welcome back. In this video, we will see how we can get the data storage information from our H2 database. To log into our H2 database, just we need to execute the localhost 8080 on which our microservice is running slash h2 minus console. Moment we hit that, we will land back on this page where the see it should be the default settings to connect to our h2 we don't need to do anything and then we can connect then in this uh, schema you can see we have a customer table and some default uh, tables from h2 so in case of customer table we can execute run query in customer table and we, will, we can see the created customer for us which we created in the last video we can further uh, create more customers for us just to show you exactly say it will be a test one and first name one last name one and number of starting one so moment we hit that it will create a new customer for us and we can also retrieve this same customer we have called the get endpoint we have it and if i switch back to my h2 console i can see now we have two customer created for us so that is an easy easy way how we can also check the database information for us like how data is getting stored in database so that's about this video and in the next video we will start implementing the order service for us we will start with api definition for order service then we'll create the api stubs from the order service and then we will implement the Spring Boot microservice for order service. After that, as we know from our previous video, the order service is dependent on customer service. We will see how one service going to interact with the other service. And also at first we will see how we can hard code the port and later we will make it configurable so that we can run both the microservices in any environment irrespective of machines first we will start on our local machine and second we will start deploying this over our kubernetes cluster and also after implementing our second spring boot microservice we will look into more context more things like how we can do distributed monitoring between our microservices how we how we can do tracing to microservices how exception handling works between microservices how we can expose matrix from out of our microservices how we can get create docker containers out of our microservices so all these topics we will be co covering in the coming videos thank you everyone and see you in next lesson